Capricorn, welcome back to Egyptian Intuition Tarot. Thank you so much for being here. Please like, comment, and subscribe. If you would like to join members, go on my page from a desktop and click join. Um, if you would like to book a personal, the information is below. <laughs> if you would like to book a personal, <laughs> um, something about Polish. I don't think that's the accent, but yeah, something about Polish could be significant. Poland, um, Polish people. A Polish sausage, a hot dog could be significant, yeah. Um, Publix as well. Lots of messages. Happy birthday! That's why you guys are getting the most of my energy. Because you're my last reading for tonight and it is 1.56 a.m. Something about your hometown could be significant. So it's almost 2 a.m. It's Christmas, so... I picked a very special day to do your reading, I'd say, especially it being Capricorn season. So I'm just gonna pat myself on the back there. But yeah, a lot of messages are coming through. So expect this to be a pretty lengthy, but very detailed and informative reading, 111 portal energy. So let's pray and let's just jump into your channel messages and then let's just jump into this reading. Um, Holy Spirit, please use me to guide Capricorn on what's going on. We didn't pray, right? Yeah. Um, sorry. Holy Spirit, please use me to guide Capricorn on what's going on, what to expect, and what to look forward to. Please always keep them feeling safe, loved, and protected. Amen. Sometimes when I do readings back to back, like the fact that I've said a prayer a couple times gets confusing. So I'll feel like I did this already, you know what I mean? But okay, new energy. Something about I'm hearing a sombrero. Um, yeah hats or a Subaru a car um something about enemies getting exposed your enemies something about your enemies you could be tasting I'm hearing a wine tasting a vineyard a vineyard yeah I'm hearing a private vineyard go in your camera roll to February 13th that day could be significant I believe Libra got Valentine's Day so yeah that you should go watch the Libra reading. Somebody could have blue eyes. Um, yeah, you're coming out strong in your energy. I was hearing that song. It's like, it's too late to apologize. It's too late. Yeah, so something about an apology, but not wanting to hear an apology. Um, you could have been, I was seeing a cheerleader turned teen mom. So in high school, if you were a cheerleader, I feel like you could have gotten pregnant in high school. Something about taking the passenger seat. Somebody got that yesterday. So watch my readings from yesterday, like taking a backseat to life and kind of letting God do his thing. Um, stepping out. Oh, you could be going out, going out to a bar. Something about going out to meet people after not being appreciated. Um, this could be a fresh breakup and like trying to go to a bar. I'm hearing, um, blow off steam, be smoking. Uh, you could be either asking yourself or asking someone else, like, what are you bringing to the table? <laughs> I feel like it's a fire sign and they're like, I am the table. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, I just feel like you feel like someone's overlooking your qualities, overlooking like. I just hear your qualities like I don't know quality quality over quantity could be a theme so the names Ethan Vanessa Jessica Lauren could be significant someone could have had cancer when they were a child or you could have a child who is a cancer 2019 could be significant throat chakra something about the home life tourist energy uh, structure you might get a last minute phone call also I was seeing something about Winnie the Pooh but yeah, something about Twitter, you could feel like someone talks about a whole bunch of nothing, like the conversation isn't deep, someone's very plain, I have plain Jane written here, something you feel like it's not worth the struggle. It's almost like you text someone, you're like, hey, how's your day? How you doing? And they're like, good. And you're like, <laughs> okay, um, you know, do anything special, have any good news? They're like, nah. And you're like, Okay, fuck this shit. Like, I'm not about to pull your teeth to get you to communicate. Um, so yeah, something about that. Something about ADHD as well. You could have a hard time focusing. But ultimately, I feel like you are receiving a new contract, whether that comes in the form of a job, a relationship, a business partner, something. Something's brand new. I'm seeing diamonds here. 
Now I'm hearing diamonds are a girl's best friend. You could be buying someone diamonds, your mom. Um, sorry, I'm just hearing the rest of that song. I'm hearing Hugh Hefner in the Playboy Mansion. Um, why do they keep singing all the song? I guess there's a part they want me to say. Dun, 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 dun. Da -da 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 -da. Tiffany da -da -da -da. could be dealing with a Leo. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah, Bulgari. Okay, you could be dealing with a Gemini, Leo, Aquarius, something about your past life. Polo could be significant, like polo t shirts. But um, I was talking about polo. Just watch all the readings with titles that look significant to you because I just feel like they're all blending together. Um, I also see you driving around your hometown with old friends. Also something about wor working on impulsive behavior and somebody could be getting out of jail for good behavior. Yeah. Or I don't know, something about like, I guess parole for um, being a good boy or a good girl or something like that, I don't know. But I'm seeing the cards in elementary school like coming home and being like, my red card got pulled or my yellow card got pulled. I'm too old for that, but I just know it's something that <laughs> happens with kids. <clears throat> we didn't have cards, you gotta call home, <laughs> straight home. Okay, so shuffling for Capricorn, fast movement, fast action. You might be driving really fast to a party, slow down. Yeah, slow down. Skip, yeah, skipping lights, skipping red lights. This is a warning. Do not drink and drive during the holidays or ever, but especially not during your season. Fool, zero. I'm seeing um, like a game when you have like nine lives and it goes from nine and it bounces all the way to zero. So yeah, be careful with the driving at this time. Don't drink and drive. And yeah, I was talking about being a defensive driver in a different reading. Like watch out for other people that could be, you know, not paying attention and driving. I'm hearing lights out. Yeah, be very careful, especially if you're driving in the city. Um, protect yourself, wear your seatbelt, so on and so forth. Okay, fair and ground. You could be finding out about an accident, a bad accident, or seeing something online here, Virgo energy. Okay, so Capricorn. So there's a celebration here. There's a celebration. Page of Pentacles in reverse. I'm hearing a lavish celebration. Somebody spent a lot of money on their outfit. They spent a lot of money. She just said it's sustainability. Yeah, I feel like, watch the Aquarius reading. Someone spent a lot of money on their outfit here, on their clothes. Uh, there's a very important choice being made. Some of you are proposing this Christmas. Yeah, and you've been doing the most, I'm getting since October or Libra season, making sure everything goes according to plan. Yeah, death and transformation. But I'm seeing, yeah, somebody invested a lot of money on a whole setup or something here. I'm hearing because they're making the ultimate choice. Yeah. Yeah. Putting down something. Seven, seven. This is a warning. If you're juggling or if you think someone's juggling, I don't think they are. No, but there's about to be some type of disruption. There's going to be some type of contract, like I said. Someone's been going over and over in their mind about how to go about this with you. Yeah, King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. So this is you maybe trying to plan something for someone. Yeah, Ten of Cups here. In Libra's reason, reason, Scorpio energy. But in Libra's reading, I was saying um, something I said. Pretty much my cards told me that I ruined a surprise. But watch the Libra reading. <laughs> But there's a big, big choice. I'm seeing a big, big choice being made. Something I'm hearing coming to life. Yeah. 
after a lot of disappointment, I'm getting all of that's turning around or there's a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius that could be disappointed. Yeah, this could also be an ex, someone from your past, somebody that's blocked. You could have blocked a fire sign here for a contract. Yeah, because there's a new contract coming around, a big, big change, the truth. You're moving forward, Queen of Wands in reverse. Something this King of Wands, Queen of Wands thing, it's no longer a match. So if you were dealing with a fire sign, I don't feel like that's working. Or if somebody left you for a fire sign or something like that, that's not working. Yeah, so be happy if any contract in the past didn't work out because wherever it went, it's not working there either. But yeah, there's a big metamorphosis here in your energy. Expect all good things. Expect the best things. But I see somebody... If someone's surprising you, they're just, they don't, oof, whew, I don't know. I just feel like someone's just like, I just keep getting like, who give me a minute, who like, yeah. So, or if this is you, I feel like this is you feeling this way. You could be getting advice from female friends if you're a male. I see like three or four or five females helping you, like coming up with different ideas. The sun here, you should do this, you should do that. You should buy this, you should buy that. Yeah, Wheel of Fortune, trying to help you with your, bring your destiny to life, I'm hearing. The lovers, yeah, Gemini energy. So expect some type of contact, some type of communication very fast. This might happen in Aquarius season for you. So in about a month, a little less than a month. Yeah, but you won't see it coming. It's before February though. I feel like one of the people that like ruins movies that I kind of ruined a movie in my last reading. But if y'all haven't watched that movie because it was in 2009, that's honestly on you. You've had ample 12 years to watch that um, movie that I quote unquote ruined. But yeah, when I'm telling you guys what to expect, I feel like I'm like ruining people's surprises. Release. So Scorpio energy. There's something I'm hearing. The old me is dead and gone, dead and gone. And oh, what song is that? Something on this road too long. <laughs> Trying to find my way back home. The old, you can have dreams of being lost. The old me is dead and gone. Oh, it's by T.I. Oh, okay. And Justin Timberlake. 2008 a paper trail a paper trail let's just read some of this let's see what's going on phil big phil i'm hearing fresh prince of bel-air um ever had one of them days wish i would have stayed home run into a group of mm, n-word who think they hate who get in, wait, who get in, they hate on. Oh, so people are hating on you. Okay, okay. Uh, figure you'll get jumped. Hell, that's nothing. They don't want to stop there now. They busting. Oh, so something about a shooting. Something about, somebody could have been paralyzed, waist down. Something about bank head. Okay, but yeah. Shedding your old self. Making way for your new self is what I'm getting. It's like a wild turn. Yeah, be careful driving. I don't know. I see someone tipping over or something, just driving reckless. I'm hearing endangered species, species being human. So don't be endangering other people. Like you could want to risk your own life drinking and driving, whatever, behind the wheel, literally the wheel. But Oh, wow, it says the world. I was seeing wheel with this flash. But um, like I said, you could be wanting to risk your own life and that's fine, but there's children, there's people, 721, 777, that you need to at least be considerate of, yeah. So this might not be you. I don't know, this could be how you feel about seeing people drive all crazy because Capricorns are typically very responsible people. I don't see you getting behind the, if anything, you're the last one to get behind the wheel like that. So this could be what you're telling your children or your younger younger siblings or cousins or something. I'm hearing primita, yeah. You could be telling like 
the youngins around you like, yo, don't be out here drinking and driving and stuff like that. Okay. Let's look at the light and the shadow attributes. So strength, 15. Wow. Like I, I said, you're coming in strong. Watch that. Scorpio reading, the snake charmer. That could be significant. Shuffling first. I almost said Scorpio. Um, but judgment, six of wands. Shuffling for Capricorn. This is the light and the shadow attributes deck. The light is what you can see. The dark is what you can't see. Or what just hasn't happened yet. But it's happening like in your energy. Yeah, high priestess. Hmm. So Knight of Wands, the wheel. Okay, so there's a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Actually, no, there's a Leo, Sag, Aries that could be coming towards you. I see the wheel, so expect the unexpected and a King of Cups. As a, So what you can't see is the King of Cups and the wheel. So expect the unexpected when it comes to some Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Yeah. I'm hearing something, I'm saying protection. Something about security cameras could be significant, but page of serpents, nine of serpents. Something that started off as a small endeavor, I feel like you also kept it very close to your heart and it grew to a very big endeavor here. Or there's something that's growing. Something started as a page of serpents, now it's at the nine of serpents because four serpents, you kept it close to you. So expect the unexpected, yeah. Something about page of wands, knight of wands, yeah, something's growing or developing. There's a missing piece of something. Yeah, the hierophant. This could be a contract here. This could be you, um, I'm hearing excelling in work, like getting some type of promotion here, like you're moving from the page to the night, like, you know what I mean? But I don't feel like you were a page for long. It's like you're moving up pretty fast here, and then you go from the page of serpents to the nine of serpents. So yeah, it's like you take something that someone teaches you, and you take it home, and then you perfect it, and then you bring it back, and then, yeah, because of this, you're going to get some really great contract, like truly expect the unexpected number 15 in your own energy because i feel like you were very diligent with something 15 19 yeah the light so you're needed you're like the light bulb in a dark room pretty much yeah with the moon here the moon yeah king of serpents so you oh, wow the page to the nine of serpents to the king of serpents so what you can't see right now is that you are already the king of serpents here even if someone's treating you like a page of wands, page of cups, this could be your boss or whatever, you know and they know that you have already like exceeded their position and whatever this is, queen of cups. So also what you can't see, there's a queen and a king of cups here. I don't feel like this is your energy because this is pinnacles. This could be your parents or something, a lack of a transformation though. That's what you can't see. Because here's your energy, King of Serpents. But then I see a King of Cups. So if you're a man, you could be you could be pursuing someone that's married here. I see someone working towards a position to get to someone that's married here. Because I see this King of Serpents, that's your energy right underneath this Queen of Cups, but the Queen of Cups is toasting here. <laughs> There's a ghost in her cup with the King of Cups. And then there's the wheel here, Death and Transformation. Also hearing something about moving could be significant.
but the queen so that's what you can't see but the queen is sorry the queen of cups is down here as a light attribute there's a and there's a page of serpents page of cups page of wands all around her so is this person married but it's like they flirt this could be somebody you work with so you might not even know somebody's married here but oh they're married and with all these dark cards and the death and the higher font they it's almost giving me like we, we were talking about the cartel in the last reading. It's like the mob boss's wife, right? But you don't know that's the mob boss's wife. So I see, like, here's you wanting to pursue her, two, three, four, right? But it's like Queen of Cups, which you can see is like, so do all these other knights, pages, pages. Like, there's so many people around her, ten of serpents. This could be because of abundance or something. Um, anyways... But what nobody can see is all these dark cards. Like this person, like this is deep over here. Whatever this is, it's very deep. But I don't know why. Because like, let me show you. Let me show you. Let me show you. So you can see what it looks like. Sorry, I can't pick up this card. So here's the Queen of Cups, King of Cups, right? Like I said, this could be somebody you work with. This is somebody, somebody you're around in some way, shape, or form, right? Okay, so there, this, there's a couple here. There's a marriage here, dark attribute. Here you are, King of Serpents. So, and you were right cat a corner underneath this Queen of, Queen of Cups here. So it's like you want to kind of come through and like offer, you know. But this is how it looks right here. They're facing this direction, cheersing with this King of Cups here. But you, like I said, you worked your way up, Page of Serpents, Nine of Serpents. But like I said, here's this Queen of Cups, the light attribute, what you can see is there's like this page of serpents, page of cups, page of wands. There's all these pages around this person. That's the only thing that you can see. But what's underlying is death and transformation, higher font, wheel of fortune, for a serpent's like something this person or something about this is like very I'm just seeing like this I'm hearing mob wives mob wives yeah five of serpents and the cosmic mirror the fool I'm hearing, I'm starting with the man in the mirror. I see, I don't know, I just see an energy of like a lot of things being changed for love, but it's like this person's married already. I don't know, yeah, the chariot cancer energy. Capricorn. I'm hearing MILF. I don't know if you're trying to pursue like, <laughs> like I don't, I'm seeing like a single dad here and he's at his kids soccer games and he's like flirting with this woman and like there's other dads there that kind of like flirt with this woman. So it's like you think that she's single, but whole time her husband is like something really important and maybe you never see. Oh, did you hear that? Did you fucking hear that? No explanation for that. Yeah, I keep talking, Knight of Swords. But what you don't see is like the reason why you never see her husband is because he's always gone handling this like crazy stuff that they're handling, right? So <laughs> I don't know what this is. This is very interesting. I'm hearing risky business. Yeah, King of Wands as a light attribute. I'm hearing Miz, wait, I'm hearing this Paramore song. It's like, I'm in the business of misery. Let's take it to the top. Just got a body like an hourglass ticking like a clock. Yeah. Okay. Let's get out of that. Okay, Capricorn, Capricorn, Stargazer, Shapeshifter, Snake, Shedding Old Skin. I just got a message from Facebook Messenger, and I literally don't use Facebook. So winter, take care of your needs and shed old skin. Something about a broken arrow, embrace the energy of peace at this time. Okay, 
That light and shadow attributes, yeah, choose your path here. And sage, be devoted and committed. Be carefree to let life take you, you know, where it wants to take you. But that light and shadow attributes deck, it always gets me, I swear. Let's go a little bit further. Let's go into the Akashic. I feel like we're doing surgery or like, um, I'm seeing that class. I don't remember which class it was, but when we had to dissect frogs. Let's go a step further. <laughs> yeah, so balance, Scorpio energy. <clears throat> Commitment. So something I'm telling you, 111. So this is all about like a higher level of commitment. I'm telling you, if you're dealing with a fire sign, this fire sign is married. You, it doesn't have to be a, you don't have to be a man watching this. You could be a female watching this, but either this is you in your own marriage or this is you pursuing someone that's in a commitment. One, 111, portal energy. Yeah, but you don't know this yet. It hasn't clicked yeah but i feel like this is at work this is somebody you work with double this could be a scorpio i see double scorpio energy aquarius possibly somebody online too i'm getting that yeah 14 in reverse it could be a gemini but maybe after sagittarius season you realize between scorpio and sagittarius season you realize like oh shit somebody's married yeah 12 it's all fire energy i see 11 12 there's no 13 and then i see a 14 so if there's no 13 that means there's no death and transformation scorpio energy so yeah balance yeah in the akashic fields i'm hearing another one bites the dust yeah Six six six. Seven seven seven. It's like I see you sitting here wondering or waiting, like wondering why something hasn't aligned. Back to the soccer field. You could be wondering, like, this girl, this lady, she's always flirting with me. Like, why won't she ask me out on a date? Like, da 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 da. Seven 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 six six six. Like going over and over in your mind, and then it's like, ah, eleven eleven, she's married. <laughs> yeah. And I feel like she's like, yeah, I like, I might be married, but of course everybody out here on this field is still attracted to me, 17. She's like, yeah, she's a MILF. She's a MILF. She's a MILF. Yeah, wish fulfillment. Bird's nest. She has a nest at home. And I feel like you are setting your course right on somebody's nest. This could be somebody doing this to you as well, whether you know it or not. This is just the energy though. But yeah, wish fulfillment here. I just see somebody like, wait, like why? I don't understand. And yeah, this person, she's married. I'm hearing her fingers are accounted for. Yeah, 1118, but you don't know this, but that's why it's not clicking faded meeting in reverse. All sevens over here on this side and the angels are like, ah, uh ah, -uh, buddy. Turn around. More Aquarius. You could. You really could be dealing with an Aquarius, um, Leo energy. But eighteen, eighteen. Yeah. I feel like maybe not many people know this person's married. You could be thirty-one here. So about December eighteenth could be significant. Yeah, Taurus energy, marriage. <laughs> three three six it's like look at you like i said i feel like you were setting your course on someone's home three three and then here you are six six plus six is twelve capricorn energy and you're just like why is it taking so long like i, don't, I just don't understand like why is it why isn't this thing like i'm hearing sparking up you could be trying to smoke i don't know but yeah inner truth <laughs> yeah oh my god six 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 this is so funny yeah okay okay let's move on let's move on <laughs> oh yeah i see this like plaguing somebody at night during the day like i, I like i i just don't understand you know 618 go watch um Go to the Taurus playlist and see what reading says 
618 on it or just go in your camera roll to june 18th and see why that's symbolic but you're gonna realize something it's gonna click you're gonna be like oh i don't know does she not have a ring like i don't know you could be the capricorn woman that somebody is trying to pursue you but you're married yeah Somebody could have found out from following you, follow the leader on Instagram. They're like, oh, she has a whole family. Oh, it's like they've been saying all these prayers, three, 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 magic prayer, but it's in reverse because the path, the path, I'm hearing, I'm seeing like a bridge closed. The path isn't open. This doesn't have to be marriage. This could be like a contract. This could be a job that you didn't get. And yeah, or this could be a home you didn't get and something, you, you just realize why it couldn't happen later. But I see you just like really pondering like, why, 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 why? And it's like, yeah, it's, somebody lives in the house, you know, if you didn't get home, oh. Oh my goodness, I'm also getting energy like you could be dating someone, you could be like actively dating someone and they never let you come to their house and it's because there's <laughs> somebody in there, somebody lives in, like it's somebody in their bed or something like that. Sketch energy, Capricorn, but whatever that's plaguing your mind or what, yeah, you're going to figure that out. Um, but yeah, home here, home. Watch the Aquarius reading, Moonlight, there's secrets in the home. something about 2015 one ring circus aries energy so i'm here you're gonna have to do something alone here you might be traveling or maybe there's something about canceled travel you're gonna do something alone instead Ooh, 20 yeah the truth But yeah, talisman, all sevens here. Also all sevens here. Everything is aligned. There's something from 2015 though. Everything is aligned. They, something from 2015 could be falling apart, but it's all, it's all a part of your path, your journey. Yeah, compass. Um, let's go over here. This is gonna be a long reading, Capricorn. So Scorpio energy here, the world, a new cycle, the end of a cycle. Gemini energy, some type of communication about the ending of something. This could be an airy season, shuffling for Capricorn. Yeah, I see you very confused, Gemini energy. You could be dealing with the Scorpio or something needs to be cleansed. Remember, we were just talking about dissecting frogs here. So you need to dissect something. There's some type of information that you need to dissect, some form of communication that you need to dissect to get to the bottom of things. Yeah. Bring, to bring something into balance. Oh, before we started this reading, I was hearing earth, wind, and fire. So something about all the elements. Nature. Yeah. Here's your energy here. If you're confused about something, set your intention and then go out in nature and you'll get your answer. Yeah. Yep. Virgo energy, especially if it's about work. I see a seven that's not here, so I don't see a seven, five, six, no, seven, eight, nine. So I feel like you don't feel like you have many options. Here's a seven, but what you're actually lacking is courage. You have options, but you just don't see them. You'll see them when you gain courage, okay? Yeah, death and transformation, 13. So something needs to change within your energy here. For success, Taurus energy. So if you feel like there's nowhere to go, there's nothing you can do, it's because 
that's what you're telling yourself, tower. But there's always something to do. There's always something to change. There's always somewhere you can go. All sevens. So you need to block out that. I'm hearing um, limited mindset or like negative Nancy mindset. Worst case scenario, I'm seeing the nine of swords in my mind. I also see you always expecting the worst of people. Like if people, if someone says they're going to do something, you always think like, no, you're not. Like you don't say that out loud, but I feel like you're just like, no, you're not. So stop Aquarius energy. Stop expecting the worst just because of people that you've dealt with in the past. I feel like there's a fire sign in your life. It could, I was going to say, it was, there could be a fire sign that was a fire sign. But yeah, uh, I see an Aquarius or a Leo here. But I feel like 8-8, eight, eight, somebody really um, messed up your trust here. I don't know why I feel like this is a masculine reading, but... Feel free to perceive this in any way you want. Yeah, Queen of Wands, Queen of Cups. Somebody who is very manipulative with their actions and with your emotions here. And um, I feel like you experienced a lot of bad luck in this situation. There wasn't much achievement here. Yeah, maybe a depletion of resources, a lot of mental mind games, a lot of mind traps I'm hearing. I'm seeing Minecraft. But yeah, it was something was nearly impossible. But don't let those experiences mask what it wants to come through for you, Ten of Coins. Because if you do that too much, then it's like you start blocking your blessings. You miss out on this Empress energy. Or if you're a female, Emperor energy. Yeah, 3-3. Three, three. So realign yourself here. There's some realignment needed. I feel like, yeah, you're taking some type of past experiences with you and you're projecting them on someone else and that isn't fair. Someone could also be doing this to you if you're trying to pursue a Queen of Cups or a Queen of Wands, but it's just not working. Somebody could be still bitter or hurt. I'm hearing bent out of shape from their past and they're just projecting it on you. And I'm not saying this is fair. I'm getting heavy Leo Aquarius energy, but this is just what's happening. So, yeah seven of swords when someone heals from that then they'll be more suitable to i'm hearing handle your energy but not even that much just be reciprocative to your energy but until then you're just gonna hit a wall hit a wall hit a wall like i'm hearing crash dummy but it's not on account of you it's just on whatever side you stand it's somebody that has to work through their own issues like it's not your fault if you just meet somebody and they treat you like shit because of something they've been through in the past you know that's something they have to figure out and see on their own eight of coins you know and that's not something you can force the process and you don't want to force that process you want people to temperance you want everything to go the way it's meant to go and everyone to go through their full processes so you don't have to deal with it eight years seven years down the line when there's like a high um like a high pressure situation i'm hearing like if you think i don't know it's like there's minuscule things that you dealt with or you're dealing with so imagine like having to deal with that energy that already isn't receptive reciprocative to small things when you have bigger things at play you know do you really want to have to deal with that right so if someone isn't cooperative with you now that could be a blessing in disguise queen of swords in reverse all these queens are coming out in reverse so if everything's coming out in reverse it's giving me that soccer mom, mom energy yeah it's looking like the energy isn't available to pursue eight eight yeah mm-hmm Yep. Um, but you're gonna you're gonna realize this, the hermit, or someone's gonna realize this. Like I said, this does not have to be about a relationship, but I do see the four of wands, marriage. <laughs> this might just be for one person. This might be for one Capricorn out there. Or Capricorn, this is for somebody that's trying to deal with you if you're like married or something. Yeah, the magician, six of coins. This is giving me the energy of the Aquarius reading because yeah, judgment, the truth, 
we were talking about this movie called Chloe that I watched the other day. And it was all about this like contractual agreement that this wife came up with to test her husband. And the whole time it was like, I'm hearing null and void. Like it never really existed. It wasn't a real thing. So, I don't know. Ten of Cups, shuffling for Capricorn. You're gonna get emotional fulfillment, trust me. Before April, you're gonna be emotionally fulfilled. Yeah, something's gonna happen and change really fast for you. I'm hearing when the moon is in Cancer again. Shuffling for Capricorn. Queen of Cups is coming out again. I see you looking out into the horizon. There's something you wanna say, Queen of Cups energy, but the Eight of Pentacles is in reverse, Seven of Pentacles is in reverse. Eight and seven, 15, that's your energy because there's something here that you don't know that's keeping something hung in suspense. Right, the light hasn't been shed on whatever information you're looking for. Whatever you can't figure out, there's a reason why something isn't working out, but you just don't know that eight, seven, six. This could have to do with your dad, but I don't see a five, and I see four, something about two days from now, something about a contract. You might have to move away for a contract in two to three days from now. Yeah, huge tower moment. This is kind of abrupt. Um, I hear a helicopter, number 16, the rescue. What time is it? It's 2.37. So yeah, something about your manifestation, collaborative effort. You might have to travel in two days. But yeah, Ace of Wands, expect a new beginning. Throat chakra, okay? End of a cycle, fast. Yeah, a ma the magician, something you manifested. I almost said a magician. <laughs> oh, a magician. Something about, cor um, I'm hearing corruption. Yeah, the devil, Capricorn energy. Ten of wands, queen of swords. You could be waiting there's a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius that could be hearing, ha they have their ear to the streets with you, or someone could be asking around about you. It could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Yeah, Aquarius energy, the star. Listen to that reading here. Seeing that 27 again, that was all in the Aquarius reading. Definitely watch that reading because there's some type of information that will promote or prompt your healing there as well. But like I said, you could be dealing with the Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This for Capricorn. This could be somebody that you didn't have intentions on being too serious with. Yeah, like I see you at night and then the sun comes out. And you go out too, yeah, being swept away. So, Queen of Wands energy, the sun. This could be a Leo or a Sagittarius energy. Clarify this. I don't know, something ended bad or what? I don't know why this is significant, but Ace of Coins, the Chariot in Reverse, that's your energy, Capricorn energy, the hangman. I see whatever money, opportunity, job offer you've been waiting for is coming towards you. The ideal relationship, I see you continuing to wait for that. But something about before April, I see something changing with love for you. Yeah, around Pisces season. Six, six, when you start giving to yourself again, um, it'll be a perfect timing for you to be receptive to a new energy. But yeah, there's something you have to realize before anything, Queen of Cups. But there's something about this Queen of Cups, Some like I just keep getting somebody's married, you might find out somebody's married. 
married, married with children. And you're like, what? I see somebody here that didn't even really get to know this person, but still feels betrayed. Like you're married. You're like my wife in my mind. 721, four sevens there. <laughs> yeah, King of Cups in reverse, so. Or somebody could have went back to their spouse or something like that. I think we already used this deck, okay. We're 45 minutes. Yeah, just go enjoy yourself, Capricorn. Just go enjoy yourself. There are plenty of single people in the world. Yeah. Wow, the world card fell on the floor. Maybe go travel, go explore the world. 45, 45. Virgo energy might meet a Virgo or a Cancer here. Yeah, the moon in reverse Cancer energy. Something from 2018 to 2021, a three-year cycle. I feel like it's coming to a close. Or something you didn't invest in in 2018 or 2021, you might get a second chance to invest in that. Yeah, the truth here. But it's a perfect timing now. All right, I'm about to get out of here. Ace of Wands. Yep. I have to say, should I even post this reading? Because I just feel like this was pretty hectic. It felt like a sitcom, honestly. But yeah, they're saying post it. hearing leaving the nest yeah the fool here father of cups hangman death and transformation so there's a change you've been waiting to make for a long time and i feel like like i said you're finally going to be able to do it some of you are becoming parents here be waiting for a child to be born but after this realization that's where everything else changes yeah daughter of pinnacles that's your energy But I feel like something's gonna shock you. Something's gonna come to a cycle abruptly. It's gonna be a shock. It's gonna be, yeah, Ace of Cups, a huge, something mind blowing, hearing a mind, F U C K, five, five, ten, but it's gonna help you in a cycle and go towards another one. I'm seeing 17, 18, the moon and the stars, everything in the night sky, the constellations. The moon and the stars. Either the secrets or what you don't know is going to heal you. Ten here. Or the information you don't know you're going to find out in Aquarius season. I'm hearing brace yourself. Okay, Capricorn. Okay, okay. You guys have gotten enough of me. Yep. But it's your birthday. You're ending out strong Capricorn season. Um, Sorry, one more message. Yeah, set your intention. Set your intention. Father of Pentacles. Something about a phone call or s listen out for what you hear. Listen to what you hear. Yeah, there's there's signs and the things that you hear. Talk of strangers. Yeah, and also in your dreams. Something about your emotions. Cancer and Pisces energy. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Capricorn. See you later. <laughs>